The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs has noted an increase in the number of persons presenting with flu-like illnesses during the last two months. The increase is observed both in the visits to the emergency departments and the wellness centers. This is particularly the case for children less than five years of age. On a global level, in January 2024, the World Health Organization Director General indicated that in December 2023, there was a 42% increase in COVID-19 hospitalizations and a 62% increase in ICU admissions compared to the previous month. Nationally, in addition to COVID-19, the Epidemiology Unit at the Ministry of Health has recorded an increase in confirmed cases of respiratory syncytial virus and also influenza for the period October 8th to December 2023. Similar trends were detected globally, mainly in parts of Europe, Central Asia, and North America due to the changes in the temperate Northern Hemisphere. On January 17, 2024, the Ministry of Health received a laboratory result from the Caribbean Public Health Agency confirming the presence of the Omicron variant HV1 in samples submitted by the National Reference Lab, the Ezra Long Laboratory. The Centers of Disease Control and Prevention revealed that HV1 has become the most dominant variant in the United States, with symptoms closely resembling a cold or the flu. These symptoms include fever, chills, headache, fatigue, muscle aches, cough, runny nose, sore throat, and congestion. Despite the fact that HV1 seems to be highly transmissible, Experts agree that the new subvariant is not known to cause severe disease. This is likely the cause for the increased respiratory illness that is noted in country at this time. The public is encouraged to reduce the spread of respiratory illnesses by the following measures. Maintain proper hand hygiene with regular hand washing. Cover your nose and mouth when coughing or sneezing and wash hands thoroughly after coughing or sneezing. Wear a face mask where possible in crowded places and when presenting with flu-like symptoms. Avoid sharing cups and utensils. Avoid close contact with others who are sick. Clean surfaces and objects using household detergent. Refrain from sending sick children to school or daycare centers until they are resolved. If symptomatic, avoid contact with people at higher risk of severe illness such as infants, the elderly and those who are immunocompromised. Educational institutions, workplaces, business places and healthcare facilities are advised to strengthen the sanitary protocols to reduce transmission. Consult a healthcare professional if flu-like symptoms linger or worsen. The Ministry of Health reminds the general public that we are presently in the flu season which runs from October to March. And as such, would like to encourage the use of the flu vaccine, which is available free of charge at the various wellness centers. The COVID-19 Janssen vaccine is also available and can be taken as a booster, especially for persons with risk factors or chronic illness. COVID-19 testing is also available free of charge at the wellness centers. The Ministry of Health alerts the general public to take the necessary measures to reduce the impact of respiratory illness at this time. Further updates will be provided to the public as needed. <laughs>